أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وأنيبوا إلى ربكم وأسلموا له وأسلموا له من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب ثم لا تنصرون واتبعوا أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب بغتة وأنتم لا تشعرون صدق الله العظيم These are ayats from Surah Az-Zumar. The first ayah is the ayah number 53 and 54 and 55. In the ayah number 53, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Actually, He ordains the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to say قُلْ say or anyone after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reads the Qur'an also he is decreed to say يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ O my servants quoting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the one who call, who calls, Ya ibadi, O oh my servants, Alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim, we can understand and feel the mercy of Allah from His, uh, from His call, Ya ibadi, O oh my servants, He does not say, He does not say here, O oh, the servants, He say, O oh, my servants, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ Joining us, joining the servants to himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يَا عِبَادِيَ Owning them. يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ O my servants. الَّذِينَ Those أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Who made israf against themselves. What is israf? Israf means waste. Wasting your chance, wasting your ability in uh, uh, bad things. O oh, my servants who transgressed asrafu ala anfusim against themselves. Ya ibadi alladina asrafu ala anfusim. It means that they did many, many uh, sins. They are so sinful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defined their uh, too much sins with uh, kalimat israf, wasting the sin. It's, it's something like they are wasting the sins. They are doing so many sins. As if when, uh, when you look at them, you, you may say they are wasting the sins. Asrafu ala anfusim. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling them with my servants he wants them he did not reject them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says elsewhere Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum Allah is the one who wants to turn to you Allah is the one who, wa who wants to accept your repentance Ya ibadi alladheena asrafu ala anfusim so we should imagine some people who did many, many crimes, big crimes, who killed many and who committed many uh, illegal sexual uh, intercourse, 
fornication and you can imagine any uh, sin or any crime uh, within yourselves but uh, imagine him as the one who did these uh, sins uh, too many, too much even those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants them not, not despair of his mercy la taqnatu min rahmatillah despair not of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever uh, sin you did or how, ma how many sin you did regardless of your uh, quantity of your sin do not despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Prophet, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated that there was a man who killed uh, 99 person and after that later on he asked a worshipper that if there is uh, a way uh, to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there any way of expiation he said no way for you you have already killed 99 person and then that person so killed him and completed the number to 100 and then asked a scholar of Bani Israel he asked them actually he was one of them he asked them about uh, his position uh, if there is any way to turn in repentance with Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said nothing can stop you from repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nothing can stop you from, from turning to him of course you can turn to him but please abandon this area the area of kufr the area that did uh, that you committed all of your sins go away go far away from here and repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that hadith Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that the man abandoned his city and go ahead to another place in order to be a righteous man but at the half of the way the death came upon him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the angels the angels of rahmah the angels of mercy of Allah and the angels of torment disputed over him one of them said these uh, uh, this are minds the other said this are minds he didn't do any r r goodness and the other angel said uh, and the uh, angels of rahmah they said no he was going to uh, repent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yes he did many many crimes but he is right now turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so therefore he is mine at that moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to them measure the distance between the two, ta the two towns and if he is closer to the town that he wanted to go then he, uh, the angels of Rahmah, the angels of mercy uh, let them take his soul and if he was closer to the city that he went forth then he uh, belongs uh, to the angels of torture and at that moment Prophet ﷺ said that he was actually at the half of the way but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him closer to the city that he was going and the angels of Rahmah uh, took his soul this uh, narration by this uh, narration Prophet sallallahu wants to explain us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives he wants to forgive he wants to forgive the sins of his servants he calling them he called them to repent in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ibadi 
And in another hadith, Prophet Sallallahu said, Allah pleases when his servant turned to him, when his servant amend himself, when his servant uh, abandoned uh, the uh, sinful action, actions and turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he uh, explained them uh, with uh, a narration or with a parable. He said that, imagine yourself with your camel in a desert and you do not know the way, only the camel knows the way and whatever you have uh, is on the camel and you wanted uh, to briefly rest uh, somewhere in the desert but uh, you slept and when you awake from your sleeping you notice that your camel is uh, absent he's not there you looked for it and you couldn't find him imagine that uh, calamity how big it is at that moment you understood that you cannot save yourself you cannot rescue you wanted to sleep again in order to die this is the end and when you tried to sleep at that moment you notice you notice that your camel is uh, upon you and you uh, catch uh, him and at that point the person said oh my servant you are my servant and i am your god he confused to say oh my god you are my god you are my lord and i'm your servant he confused and said statement uh, from the opposite imagine how he is happy at that moment Prophet وسلم, said this and then uh, admitted that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wallahi he is more happy than that person when his servant comes to him comes to his door when his servant uh, returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala